Ferris, welcome to Unmasking Hum. <clears throat> Ferris, welcome to Unmasking Humanity, 21 Questions with Joshua T. Berglund. I am absolutely honored to have you here, especially with as patient as you've been in getting this done. Uh, but it means a lot to me, not, not only that you were patient, but that you were able uh, or you were willing to come back on and actually do this interview in a much different format than <laughs> is normal. So thank you for being here. And before we get into everything, I would love to ask you just to set the tone for this broadcast. What are you grateful for today and why? Hey, I'm going to just carry on the theme you said. I am so grateful we're doing this broadcast. We're doing this interview uh, because not only because it gives me a chance to, to uh, talk to you, uh, share some uh, funny stories with the listeners, but it's a completely new format. Uh, I love meeting new people, doing new stuff. So super grateful to be your first guest on this new format. Thank you so much for being here. So you ready for the first question? I am. Hit me. All right. If Shia Ghetto, your amazing organization, were a superhero, what would be its superpower? Uh, do you know what? It's it's a superpower that you don't read in any of the Marvel comics. It's the ability to become friends with absolutely everyone, right? It doesn't matter, right? Donald Trump, uh, Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un. I would imagine Shia Ghetto, the superhero, would just have this ability to be everyone's best friend. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> Such a fun answer. Um, tell us about a time when combining IQ, EQ, and FQ felt like mixing a perfect cocktail for success. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a great description. Perfect cocktail. I'll tell you a time uh, of uh, working with one of my clients, right, where the um, the challenge was that the teams were just not getting on. So a bunch of super IQ people, they had the right answers, but they just didn't like each other, all right? Uh, you know, lacking the EQ and lacking even the awareness that they didn't like each other. Uh, so, uh, you know, what we could do as a team was go in there and create the bonds, create the ability to see each other as a human being, right? So that they could share their IQ. Right? And uh, we did that in a focused way. And it, 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 we couldn't leave it to just chance that they'd get on. And so one of the techniques I used was gamifying everything, uh, Joshua, turning everything into a game because they all loved a game. They all loved winning. What they didn't realize was the actual real prize to be won in the game was getting to know each other, not the not the simple you know dynamics of the game that they thought they were playing. So uh, that's just a classic example of how we can blend IQ, EQ and FQ to get really great results with the teams we work with. 